What's going on guys, Stefan here from App Stuff. In today's video, we're gonna be covering a bunch of awesome tips, tricks, and shortcuts in Xcode that are gonna make your life as an iOS developer so much easier. These are game-changing tricks, guys. I use them every day as a developer, so let's go ahead and get started. So guys, I have Xcode opened up here, and for our first tip and shortcut, we have a new way to organize our files. So you guys can notice here in my project directory, my folders are not alphabetized. I'm really big on file organization and stuff, and I used to do all of that manually. Now you can just right click on a folder and go to sort by name, and it will sort everything alphabetically for you. So that is huge for me. I always like to alphabetize my folders and my files, so that new shortcut is absolutely amazing. Next up, guys, one of my favorite shortcuts is the shortcut to opening a file quickly. So let's imagine I wanted to open up like the feed view that I have here on my TikTok clone, but I don't feel like digging through all of these folders and finding it. You guys can hold down Command, Shift, and O, and it opens up this little window where you can just type a start typing out a file name, and it will take you immediately over to that with that nice autocomplete feature and take me over to that file, which is awesome, right? Next up, guys, by extension of this, you guys notice that in my project navigator, it didn't actually navigate to that file. So if I want to do that, I could hit Command Shift J and it will um, automatically open up that file for me in my project navigator here on the left, which is absolutely awesome, guys. I use those two things almost every day and it saves you a lot of time with looking for files and all that stuff. So that's another one there. Next up guys, with Xcode 15, we get this new image resource functionality. So on this login page I have for the app here, guys, you notice here, I have to type out the actual string name of my asset for that, which is located in my assets folder. But with this new type safe sort of image resource guy, we can just go and add a dot and start typing out the name of our image or asset, whatever it may be. And it will fill out that for us with that nice autocomplete feature. So we never have to really worry about misspelling something or changing the name of something. And you guys will notice here that if I do this and try to build my project, it's gonna say, hey, there is no image resource matching that exact name. So this is a really uh, like another awesome feature that we get here that just makes our lives easier when working with image assets or any kind of asset really. And by extension of that, guys, it doesn't only work with images, it also works with colors now. So guys, I'm gonna hop into this button modifier I have for creating like a custom button. You guys notice here that it's, I'm just using the system pink color, but if you look in the assets folder, I have like a custom primary pink color. Before you had to write sort of custom implementation to get those colors you wanted. Now you can literally just say dots primary pink, and this is getting that from my asset catalog which is so, so convenient for us here, guys. We no longer have to write like custom color theme structs and all of that stuff. So this is amazing here as well. Next up, we're gonna be covering the new autocomplete features, guys. So here, I'm gonna just go and create a new line and see if I can create like a frame. You guys will notice that all of these properties are optional. So I can have a legit blank initializer or I could have like all of these or just some of them, right? And you guys will notice that as I start typing, it'll start adding those parameters and give you that sort of autocomplete functionality. If you guys just wanted to select everything, you could hold down the option key and hit enter, and it will just automatically add all of the properties for you so you don't have to continuously type them out. And to see what that would look like with the other init option, guys, I could go down here and hold down option, hit enter, and it will add, like, add all of those input params for me. Another extremely helpful shortcut introduced in Xcode 15 was the ability to format long inits like this or multiple uh, input parameters to new lines. So I could highlight this whole thing, guys, and hit Control M, and it will put every single one of those things on a new line for me, which is huge for code formatting. I can't believe it took Xcode this long to get such a simple formatting command, but that's super, super helpful in keeping your code clean, guys. You never want a ton of input parameters stretching on one line. It's really ugly and makes your code really messy and hard to read. So that's another awesome tip and trick there, guys. And for our final two features here, guys, you notice I have a blank file open. We have this really nice new autocomplete feature. I've called this file mock post. And you'll notice that if I start typing out struct and just say mo, it'll autocomplete that for me with that file name. So the compiler has got definitely gotten smarter with its autocomplete there as well. And guys, I'm gonna just go ahead and make like a mock structure here. 
And one of my new favorite features as well is the autocomplete with the initialization method. So if I just start typing out init and I hit enter, it writes out the entire init block for me, which is so, so cool. And guys, if this were a codable structure, so I'm going to be decoding this like with some sort of incoming JSON, um, you guys will notice that this is sort of like a class initializer. I will also get this init from a decoder if I have to do some sort of custom decoding, which is also super, super helpful. Whenever you guys have to do custom decoding, you've probably real or been through the annoyance of typing all of this stuff out, especially if your like structure is large, like my actual post object, right? So I didn't want to have to type all this out. Swift did it for me. And then I also have like a class initializer and use that new line formatting there as well. So all these new features are really, really helpful, guys. I hope you found this video useful. Make sure you subscribe to this channel and like this video if you want to see more content like this. And if you guys wanted to check out this awesome TikTok clone course, just head over to the website at stephancodes.com. We have a bunch of amazing pro courses, guys, like Tinder, TikTok, Threads, Airbnb, Instagram, and all that stuff. And you guys can really just level up your skills as an iOS dev, whether you're just starting or you're an experienced developer. We have something for everybody. We have advanced fundamentals, beginner fundamentals, Swift UI bootcamp, all of that stuff. We also have ready-made app templates that are ready to go right out of the box if you're just looking for source code. And guys, you can get access to all this stuff if you just become a member with us at stephancodes.com for less than a coffee a day. So if you guys are serious about investing in yourself and improving yourself and getting a career as an iOS dev or launching that app you've always dreamed about, Stefan Codes and App Stuff is the place to be. Make sure you guys head over to the website to check out all of the services and products that we have to offer. So thanks so much for watching this video, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.